Good afternoon, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with The Trumpet for My People. Today is May 27th, 2023. I want to share this report with you, and I want to ask the question, is this our last warning before Pentecost rapture? We have this news coming out over the last two days. Elon Musk's Neuralink brain chip implants gets approval for first human study after implant tests on monkeys played pong with their minds this is just being approved a brain chip to be implanted in humans has just gotten approval here this news article is coming out on may 25th and may 26th may 25th and updated on may 26th I want to show you that on the uh, Hebrew calendar, May 25th, is the eve of Shavuot. And May 26th is the first day of Shavuot, the first day of Pentecost. And on the uh, Christian calendar, Pentecost is May 28th. Uh, tomorrow we are on the eve right now we're on the eve of Pentecost right now Sunday May 28th Pentecost is a Christian holiday observed on the seventh Sunday after Easter that celebrates the blessing of the Holy Spirit upon the Apostles and the other followers of Jesus Christ as mentioned in the Acts of the Apostles the day of Pentecost is known in the Christian Church as the day on which the Spirit descended upon the Apostles Guided by Peter's preaching, many thousands were converted in Jerusalem. So what happened on the day of Pentecost? God sent his Holy Spirit, and now the Holy Spirit would live inside the believer, and they would be guided and directed by the Holy Spirit. Can you see the connection to Pentecost and a brain chip implant that is being promoted now on Pentecost? The controlling of humanity, just as God wants to control humanity through the Holy Spirit, through those who are filled with his spirit and can walk in the spirit according to uh, the Christian Bible, according to the power of Jesus Christ, now they want to implant brain chips in humans connected to Pentecost here, May 25th and May 26th. Let's take a look at the time on both of these uh, reports. May 25th was at 1846. If we go to the Hebrew 1846, if we go to the Hebrew 1846, it says to go out or to be extinguished. When it is hot, they vanish from their place. When it is hot, they are consumed out of their place. To go out, to be extinguished, to vanish. Extinguish, go, goes, put, vanish. Okay, 1846. The other time reported is the time of my sign on December 12th, 2012. At 12 midnight, my sign came at 12, 12, 12, 12. And here the, the time on this report is 12, 12 on May 26th on the day of Pentecost. And 12, 12 in the Strong's Concordance means clear or evident. Clear, evident, clear, manifest, evident. Is this a very clear warning for us coming on Pentecost about a brain chip implant being approved now by the FDA. They can go forward now with this starting on Pentecost 1212 properly what is fully clear manifest plainly evident because of inner perception grasping what is unmistakable or self-evident. Is this self-evident? Could this be our final warning? Coming to us on Pentecost on the Hebrew calendar, showing us that Pentecost on the Christian calendar may be our day. 
Could this be our last warning over the weekend of Pentecost? Get ready now. Jesus is coming. They're getting ready to chip humans with brain implant chips. Okay, here's the, the study on it, the uh, report on this. Musk said the company's goal is to develop a surgically embedded neural chip implant to help disabled patients move and communicate again and possibly restore vision. This is the result of incredible work by Neuralink team and close collaboration with the FDN represents an important first step that will one day allow our technology to help many people. The company based in San Francisco Bay Area in Austin, Texas has faced scrutiny from campaigners who filed a lawsuit last year claiming it had evidence macaques used in previous trials were subjected to horrific suffering. The physicians committed for responsible medicine filed the documents with the U.S. Department of Agriculture in 2022. They claim the animals were subject to extreme suffering, with one monkey having holes drilled in its skull. Neuralink's brain chips were implanted in the monkey's heads to see if they could control technology with their thoughts. However, the experiment allegedly left 15 out of 23 monkeys dead. In one instance, a monkey was found missing some fingers and toes, possibly caused by self-mutilation, legal papers claim. Another case revealed a female macaque monkey had electrodes implanted into its brain, which caused it to be overcome with vomiting, retching, and gasping. Okay, so the, all kinds of problems that they've had, according to this report, and yet they're going ahead and giving FDA approval for the first human studies to begin of brain chip implants. Okay, all of this coming and connected to uh, Pentecost. And remember, the Pentecost was when the Holy Spirit came and began to dwell within the believer to be able to guide and direct the believer of Jesus Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. Is there a connection to this brain chip implant being promoted and authorized on the day of Pentecost? This is one more reason I, be, I continue to watch. Tomorrow is a very important day, Sunday, May 28th. 2023 for the very possible rapture of the church of Jesus Christ. I pray you guys are blessed. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people, the sign of his coming revealed.